If you've caught my videos today and you're wondering what I've been reading, it's the Mayan galactic archetypes. These specific archetypes and tones are the people that I'm working with now. It's amazing how everything is divinely coming together. The following is the Red Crystal Skywalker. This is my specific archetype and tone. If you desire to know what your Mayan galactic archetype is, I love to do these readings because it has just added so much clarity and understanding to the feelings I already had but didn't have a reason behind why I had these connections with specific people. And I would love to share it with you. I currently offer these readings at Equal Energy Exchange. So whether that be a donation or something you'd like to gift or something you'd like to contribute, I'll leave that up to you. If you desire to have this reading, I will need your birthday and your name and you can send a donation or whatever form of equal energy exchange that you would like to exchange. And you can email me at info at kendradivinepurposementor.com. The Red Crystal Skywalker, the archetype of the prophet. The Red Skywalker is your conscious self who you are, and who you are going to become. The Red Skywalker is the time and space traveler who can jump dimensions to assist you in realizing heaven on earth. The Red Skywalker is unlimited in form, but often chooses the form of an angelic messenger, a person who embodies the cosmic wisdom may be known as the Skywalker, the Sage, or the Bodhisattva. The Bodhisattva is the Mayana Buddhist person who is able to reach a state of Nirvana, but delays doing so out of compassion in order to save suffering beings. When others see such light in a human form. They feel the vibration of heaven. This vibration may be embodied by you or experienced with a guru, master. An energy such as the Red Skywalker or in a chance encounter with an extraordinary person. An encounter with the energy of the Red Skywalker can spark a deep yearning within you for a reunion with the Source. Yet from this place of love and compassion, you have a desire to embody in physical form to serve the light. This is the place in you that has the courage to fully express unconditional love to the depths of your being. The Red Skywalker asks you to live the new myth by bringing heaven to earth in your daily life. As this reality is lived, it touches and awakens the same truth in others. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. The Red Skywalker represents the balance in life. Not static balance, but the dynamic equilibrium that includes both present expressions and your star-seated self. In the Red Skywalker star glyph, you see a pillar of heaven that doesn't appear to touch the earth. You are the element that appears to be missing in the star glyph. You are the one 
whose expression of light assists in drawing the pillars of heaven to earth. Joining these pillars in yourself can be viewed as reuniting your male and female aspects. Together in balance, we create the pillars of the etheric temples of heaven on earth. The natural state of every system moves towards balance that is fluid and free as in dance. That balance is experienced differently by each person, but it often brings a sense of steadiness and centeredness in the midst of its movement and change. When you are dancing, you can use this very state of imbalance to create fluidity of the dance. The red serpent is your higher self, your guide. I am the flint, the tinder of the sacred fire. Read the meditation for the red serpent. In the great mysteries of the flint and tinder, represents the instinctive combustion that initiates movement in the physical body towards union with spirit. The flint and tinder are brought together. The sparks of divinity awakens and ignites the fire of your essence. The red serpent invites the purified spark of the sacred fire, the Kundalini, to align and integrate your body, mind, and spirit. The red serpent can help you uncover apparent blockages in a specific chakra to clear and align them. If you are working on a process of purification, invite in the red serpent to assist you. The red serpent symbol is the serpent, representing healing and wholeness. The Mayan medicine can remove toxins and rejuvenate and transform disease. The red serpent is also known by the Maya as the Kundalini or the Kundalini energy that moves up from the base of the spine through the crown chakra. There are two aspects of this form. The idea and the pingala, representing its male and female polarities. One of the ancient secrets of the red serpent is the activation of the higher states of consciousness through balance of these two polarities so that they dance within us as one. Another metaphor for the serpent is the energy comes from the Mayan word Luke Emma Tan Ben Can or those absorbed by the serpent of the sacred knowledge. When the seven chakras are fully activated, one experiences an enlightened state. The red serpent represents the basic structural apparendus of the motivations, instincts, desires, and your innate movement towards wholeness. The red serpent asks you to shed the skin of your past, to step into the fires of alchemical transmutation. In this rebirth is revealed. This desire is innate response encoded in the depths of your being. With the energy of the red serpent, you learn to use the innate intelligence of the body. In this culture, 
you may have become separated from this wisdom. It works like this. When you suppress and ignore your issues, your body receives and retains the unconscious metaphors of which you ignored. This may be expressed through physical symptoms that bring your unconscious issues to the conscious awareness. When this happens, work towards a more conscious relationship with your body and work with the physical metaphors in order to heal yourself on all levels. The body has a specific kind of consciousness through which messages are clearly delivered. In fact, the body itself is a living metaphor that mirrors your mind, emotions, and spirit. However, the body also remembers all that it has experienced and consequently holds the consciousness of the past within it, including your past wounds and traumas. In healing these issues, remember the innocence of your body. Invite back that innocence that you were born with. Treat it with love and respect. Worship your body as your temple. Open yourself to be aware of its messages and metaphors rather than storing them for later. Be willing to look at the positive intention beneath any symptoms of physical pain or discomfort. The physical process of your body is using to communicate to you. Explore whatever you may be asking to see. In this alignment process, you can use images or energies that come to you in meditation or in dreams. Journey through your body to catalyze and explore any sensations, colors, shapes, or images. In these times, we have a profound opportunity to transcend both our physical and our spiritual genetics. The body's integration provides an unparalleled opportunity for personal evolution. Learn to expand and utilize your senses to access your body's wisdom and vitality. Don't think about it. Simply allow your body to sense intuitively the solutions necessary for change and growth. The red serpent also represents the connection between powerful physical and aesthetic experiences and the light of the higher consciousness. This is an initiation of awakening through the body, and the senses, rather than in negation of them. Like the Maya, we shall understand that the path to the stars is through our senses, through our emotions. It's held within the body. There is where you will find the keys to fully awaken your consciousness. This deeper understanding expressed in tantric practices where spirituality and sexuality are integrated and honored as a means of enlightenment. The red serpent represents the integration of the mind body, and spirit. Use the body as a tool for transformation. Learn how to use the passion and the senses 
as a means of access to the alignment with the higher consciousness. Follow your gut level intuition, your instincts to make choices in the moment. Be willing to look at the issues you have concerning intimacy and sexuality. Make sure that you are not separate from the dance of passion that is the union with your divine nature. Sense your deeper desires for union and intimacy. The red serpent calls you to awaken your vitality, your body wisdom, and your passion for life. The red serpent is associated with the sacred tools of the drum and the rattle. The drum and the rattle can break down old patterns or bring energy into alignment. The yellow star is your subconscious self, your hidden helper. You are a star seed. You contain a holographic seed packet of your evolution into the mind of light and the energy that directs you towards wholeness. This resonance offers an expanded view of the larger self in a new way of perceiving reality. Through self-acceptance, you are gifted with this journey. The yellow seed is the ignition, like a cosmic milkweed explosion of resonant spark. It's the launching pad from which you can hear the rumbles of the rocket of your accelerated evolution. The energy of the yellow star may be experienced as a gentle rocking that beckons a floating and spiraling sensation, ending with a rush of feeling as if you are moving into an expanded reality. This sensation has been described as a gently cascading fireworks, shimmering burst on the tapestry of creation. Cascade into the uncharted perspective. Flow on the cosmic winds wherever divinity directs, anchoring back to this reality with a new experience of self. The yellow star seed's gift is the revelation of the harmony that unites all things. Instead of just inspiring to be harmonious, become the harmony. Practice harmony, not just as an abstraction, but as a living reality. This practice blends different energies, thoughts, people, and processes. Act on the intuitive guidance as to what to combine and when. As you begin to follow your heart, you will know the feeling of being on the return path to the stars. The yellow star offers you the ability to hold a greatly expanded focus a unity of awareness that encompasses aspects of the larger constellation of self. An example of this would be a simultaneous awareness of the desires of the existential self and the truth of the essence self. This star harmony encompasses a greatly enlarged perspective of your star-seated self. The part within you that holds the potential of your greatest destiny. Unlike the preceding seven tones, which were separated and distinct, the yellow star begins a more complex harmonic series as it completes the preceding octave. On a spiritual level, the yellow star begins the development of the higher being 
The fundamental tones that occur in this series are of a more expanded frequency than those of the preceding seven tones. In this new octave, there is an alignment of the harmonies of earth and the harmonies of the stars that are now being sounded on earth. The yellow star is the first in the series of star harmonies that evoke acceleration of growth of the star seed potential within you. The blue knight, the dreamer, represents your challenge and gift. With maturity and awareness, this challenge will turn into a focus. This is what you desire to learn in this lifetime. One indication of the shadow of the blue knight is being lost in self, being too inward and subjective. Some experience this subjectively as depression. Yet from this place, you can learn to face and free your deepest fears. Instead of resisting this process, embrace it, garnering its wisdom, go deep inside and discover the positive intention that is held within your experience. What is it trying to show you that you have not been willing to look at? If you can go through your stuckness, you can find an unexpected insight and a gift that is apparent in the darkness. A great opportunity for looking within can be found in recognizing how you judge and evaluate yourself. Because self-judgment impairs your access to your own instinct and wisdom. Judgment of how you should be affects the process. Perhaps your conditioned beliefs have become harsh tools of comparison and classification. To be is not a specific goal. Being is simply innocence that is regained through acceptance of self. Freed from judgment and labels, your journey naturally opens to growth. It is okay to make mistakes along the way. From life, you have created the house you live in, from which you see the world. Now is the time to go within and reveal your essence, to break the bonds of the old structures. In this process, it is only natural for you to feel vulnerable. You are breaking up the blockages and barriers around your heart of self. You are creating a new home in the essence self, a sanctuary within the serene innocence. Self-judgment also intensifies issues of self-worth, a feeling of separation. You are intrinsically worthy. Become aware of anything that suggests that you are not worthy to receive all that you desire. Self-judgment can seriously damper your evolution, so love yourself. Remember, beliefs that you are ready to be transformed show you the way through the shadows. Be willing to follow the process into the seeming darkness and discomfort to find the gifts being offered there. The blue night can help show you that apparent enclosure and limitations are only opportunities to learn. The blue night may also signal an unconscious fear of change from a deep core issue to the fear of life's lessons. 
A unique opportunity beckons. A transformation awaits. Where the illusions of fear have been separated from consciousness. The gifts of integration and wholeness are found. What appears to be contraction into self-will eventually brings you full circle. Like the yin and yang symbol into more fluid and expanded states. Go deep within. Blue Knight teaches you its greatest truth. What is contained in the darkness holds the greatest potential for light. The White World Bridger, the Hierophant, is your complement, your ally, something that comes naturally to you. In this lifetime, you are being asked to release and surrender. Surrender is the opposite of giving up. It is freeing yourself from the desire to be in control, letting go of how you think things should be. Surrender is freedom. You are being invited to release yourself from the bondage of preconceived action. To let everything be all right as it is. So that you can live a more inspired life in the moment. You are being asked to take action in the process of surrender and release. You are requested to die a symbolic death to surrender your limiting beliefs. A symbolic death unveils the self by cutting away the outgrown parts of yourself that no longer serve you. Such death, ego structures fall away to reveal the gardens of the true self. Look for new ways of being, new people, new ideas, new directions that will move you into the vacuum created through surrender and release. Holding on to past patterns and grievances only limits your possibilities, so forgive yourself, forgive others, let go, surrender, whatever limits you. Face whatever you are resisting. In the experience of any loss, it is never too late to complete. Through your willingness to walk in the dark forest, insights and revelations will naturally emerge and flourish. Accept the truth of the present situation. Through accepting what is you are free to go forward. Change and growth become easier and more natural. Each experience is an enlightening state of surrender that allows for more joy to gracefully flow into your life. You are the tone of 12, Crystal. Stability in expansion, greater constellation, the union of polarity, the framework of connectedness. The twelfth is the ray of complex stability, the foundation of the self and the foundation of the essence in union with the mystical truth of polarity. All things are interwoven in a dance of yin and yang. All parts made up of the greater whole draw on the wisdom, the strength, the stability you derive as a member of the greater council. No matter what your experience, there is a complex stability in the larger pattern 
that invites you to feel stable as you expand and evolve. Living in a world of polarity, yet knowing that all parts are one. In the unified whole, creates an underlying framework of connectedness. The hologram of polarity is simply the structure, the loom upon which the worlds and realities are woven. Stability is a matter of perspective and perception. Find where you can openly flow and expand in the midst of seeming complexity. Utilize the relationships created by polarity to explore and expand any self-limiting constructs. Open your perception through you, the mysterious balance of the cosmos is fulfilled. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. This is Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. You can reach me at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com. Have a good day.